All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Google Next. I'm super excited because look uh, who I have with me, Janine uh, from uh, Google. She's the VP and GM here at Developer X. Uh, super excited to chat with you today. It's your debut, and uh, because you all have made such massive announcements, I'm kind of excited to chat a lot about that. Uh, but just for audience, Janine, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Developer X uh, at Google. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. For I'm sure. super excited to be able to chat with you and your audience today Thank you. here at Cloud Next. It's a big one. This is a big one. Yeah. Um, so in Developer X, we have an opportunity to do something that I think is super fun, but important too. Right. Which is to help developers be able to work across all of the amazing innovation right. that Google builds from AI models to cloud infrastructure to our Android ecosystem and be able to wire that all together so that it works seamlessly, right. easily, because ultimately who wants to spend time trying to wire things together? <laughs> you want to spend time building, creating, making your customers happy, and so that's what we try to do in Developer X. Specifically that means we build a bunch of products, one of the most famous ones being the Firebase, Firebase. platform, and we also run developer communities and programs, uh, which we actually get to work with millions of developers around the world. I love it. Uh, and you know, you mentioned about something which is very critical about building and creating, and that's what, you know, the, even the enterprise leaders that we chat with, they're like, we want to see more of the building that kind of happens, more of the creation, and then that kind of also gives them a lot of use cases out right. there, and that they can work on, and they feel more confident about using a certain platform too. Exactly. So, just uh, just on the uh, on these lines, I know AI has always like since last few years it has been the talk of the town. But how do you see AI impacting how apps, softwares can kind of get built? Uh, can you share a little bit about that as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just been incredible. Yeah. You know, I think that just a few years ago when we saw AI coding being more adopted. I don't think anyone could have predicted, I know I didn't, that we would be here today with full-fledged AI agents, right. semi-autonomously, even autonomously, being part of the development workflow, fully embedded, even as teammates, right? right? And then our applications that we're building, they're integrating AI models, they're becoming more and more agentic, and so on the one hand, it's exciting, Yeah. but I think for developers that I talk to, it's also daunting. Because it's like, wow, this is cool, but like, it's moving fast. There's like a lot of things to learn now, and maybe I'm not an AI expert. Exactly. Right? And so I think that there's just such an opportunity to make all of these things much more approachable. Hmm. And so I think that's why the vibe coding trend has become something that has just caught fire. Yeah. Because, oh. Fire, Firebase, you get yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good way to get into, it's you know, just, what you It's spend. just in my yeah. vocabulary <laughs> at this point. Uh, but I think the reason why it has caught on so much is because it's really the best of both worlds. It's being able to build really powerful applications, right. create things that are unique and interesting and fun, but also be able to do it in a way that you don't have to climb over that huge cliff of knowledge you have to tap to be Very able to build important. things. You can just use a prompt you can just type and say, here's what I wanted to do. So the production, I think the the developers now can produce so much, it seems, with the wipe coding, with prompting. Uh, do you think, uh, you know, there has, you know, when AI kind of, you know, hit the ground, everyone was like, oh, it's going to replace the jobs here. But, mm. but for sure, now it looks like it's just going to make you better at your job. It's going to give you 5x more power to get into the coding, and the wipe coding is one example mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. uh, just on this topic, because um, you all also launched Firebase Studio. Yes. What, what was the reason behind doing that? Uh, can you share a little about that too? Yeah, thank you. Um, so first of all, just real quick, Firebase Studio is an AI, and actually an agentic development environment, mm -hmm. fully in the cloud, that allows you to build AI apps much more easily and quickly than before. Need of the art. And what helped us come to the realization that, that there was a need for something like Firebase Studio exactly. is all the experience we had over the past year with uh, our cloud-based IDE, uh, Project IDX. 
Mm. Um, lots of developers fell in love with IDX, and we got tons of feedback, and IDX helped them with access to Gemini, to do AI coding, and being able to really work in any kind of programming language, or front end, or mobile framework, and build really cool things. But what we learned about that is that wow, this is good, but what if I just have an idea and I don't have design skills, I don't, maybe I'm not a product manager, I'm a developer. Right. But I want to just get going and kind of mock it up and see it come to life. Right. And so we thought, okay, we have something really cool with IDX. We also have a platform that developers trust, like Firebase. Hmm. We have some of the most innovative AI in the world right. with Gemini. Gemini. 100%. And we have the most scalable, global, secure cloud infrastructure with GCP. Mm. What happens when you put that together? That's Firebase Studio. Fantastic. I, I love it how you all have you know, gone back and you know, obviously from the experience that you all have had over the last one year, I'm pretty sure you've spoken to so many developers out there mm -hmm. and the difficulties that they have faced or the imposter syndrome as well when you kind of hear about the overwhelming news around AI. Right, and right. it's like, I didn't learn that. Exactly, exactly. That's one thing, you know, that kind of also keeps them uh, at the fence where is it really uh, for me? Right. But looks like Firebase Studio will help them to get to the next level and help them be the experts in the space as well. Absolutely, and I, re I recall my own personal experience of like climbing over those technological shifts oh, true. over the past couple of decades, and I think I just aged myself, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I learned is I started out as a web developer. Right. And I learned HTML, I learned nice. scripting, I learned how to do CSS, and I was building some exciting web pages as an intern, as a teenager wow. at Brookhaven Natural Laboratory. Then mobile came. And I'm like, how am I going to get into the mobile game? Yeah. And then you have those no-code tools that can help you like, okay, I'm a web person, but now I can build a mobile app really cool, and exactly. I don't have to know all like deep into all the new languages and True. operating systems. And then you had cloud come. Yeah. And it's like, oh, now I got to figure out how to do public cloud and I got to do PaaS services wow. and all this programmable infrastructure and right. API based programming. Okay, that's new. And then now you have AI, right? Yeah. Generative AI, new tools. Python is big, but also other languages, like we're seeing lots of demand with the Go programming language yeah. for AI workflows. And so I had my own personal experience with having to make those shifts each time. And it's not easy. It's not easy, all the not learning all. and practicing and playing. So Firebase Studio literally shrinks that. Nice. It shrinks that. So if you're an application developer, you can actually get guided right into the workflow of building an agentic application. You can build it that works on the web, and you can leverage cloud infrastructure. You can do it in a way that you can also go into coding Okay, you can go into the code, see right. everything, make changes, but that's not all. Hmm. The cool thing with Firebase Studio that you won't see anywhere else is that it comes with this app prototyping agent, and this agent creates an app blueprint, hmm. even looks at what colors your app should be, even it suggests a name, and the names are pretty cool, you gotta play with it and try it yeah. yourself. And then the other thing that I think is amazing is that based on your prompt, it might even tell you you need AI in your app. Oh, wow. So that's, yeah. And help you generate your Gemini API key, create GenKit orchestration, AI flows, mm. generate all of that. You can have a working app in minutes. So it's like a one-stop shop for everything in terms of the different layers the developers need to go through while building an app. Exactly. But you all have kind of put that into, like you said, you all have stringed it into one uh, Firebase Studio. Yeah, and so if you think about those things coming together, so you're not switching between all these different tools and the learning curve of yeah. all of those different stacks, you can get to a prototype really quickly, but we do want you to understand what's happening under the hood. We're not hiding anything. So, but you can do it at a good pace. Exactly. And you can do it based on what your strengths and your skills are, hmm. right? You can Very go important. into the code, and if you have deep AI expertise, guess what? You can change the AI orchestration. You can bring in a different framework. You can use different models from Google and from third parties. Okay. If fantastic. you have deep experience in building backends, 
Oh, great. And you want to program a different backend in a different language? Go for it, .NET, Java, no problem. Okay. Or if you have built your mobile apps with iOS and you want to be able to get to Android, Easily? You can still do it. No problem. We support multi platform frameworks oh, like wow. Flutter as well as React Native. So Very cool. it's a really exciting place. We're just getting started. Amazing. We have lots to do, but already I'm thrilled and grateful for the feedback from the community so far. We've been loving it for sure, and uh, I've been hearing and I've been you know, seeing the excitement from the developers as well. And as you said, you all are just getting started, and you'll still have so much into the game that can help the developers build apps easily, feel less, uh, you know, uh, that imposter syndrome as yeah. well when it kind of comes to AI. One more curious question. When you kind of think about, you know, I'm, I know you talk to a lot of developers, get a lot of feedback as well. How do you think developers can best leverage AI in today's time? Best leverage AI. <laughs> you know, so I talk to developers all around the world. Actually, I was in India last week. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's I awesome. was in Bangalore, and I had a chance to meet with Indian startups. I met with developers in our community. Nice. And we have a program called the Google Developer Experts. Yes. And so we had opportunities to meet with our GDEs as well. Uh, we gave them a preview of Firebase Studio. Oh, wow. And the thing that I've told them, and I'll say here too, is that people ask me, are, okay, so many apps now people can build. Is it going to be just all the opportunities taken to create something new and different when there's so much happening? And my answer to that is absolutely not. You can, there's so many cool things you can do in different industries, whether you want to try to do something in the finance space, you want to do something in retail, you want to, like the quick commerce in India right now. It's blowing. It's, it's like, it's blowing up. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I can get a pixel in eight minutes. Like, so true, like, exactly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I just find that incredible. There's just so many opportunities. Right. And I think that also, this opens doors to create the next big startups. Yep. And really, the, the, the floor is open for anybody. Exactly. Yeah. I love it, uh, Janine. These are fantastic uh, insights that you've shared. We'll definitely keep the conversation going. But one last thing for our audience that I wanted to well, ask. Well, you said one last thing. Uh, the last, uh, <laughs> I <okay>. promise. <laughs> I promise. This is the last one. Okay. Is if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about uh, where they can uh, you know, follow all the insights from uh, Firebase Studio, but not only just that, if they want to follow you as well because you keep announcing the things, the new features, where can they do that? Yeah, okay, so I mentioned earlier that I lead a team at Google called Developer X, and while Firebase is one of the most famous platforms and a really important um, area of work for us, we also manage Google's first party uh, programming languages. Okay. So the Go programming language, the Dart programming language, nice. also like frameworks like Flutter. Um, and so the perfect way to stay abreast of those a, we have blogs, so if you can go nice. to the go.dev, dart.dev, you can mm. go uh, to the Firebase uh, website. You can check out the blogs there. We always keep up to date anything we're doing. Nice. Of course, go on social. So we're all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> we have Discord channels, yep. we have X, we're on IG, like Fantastic. so anywhere. And then the other thing I would say is, by the way, you'll see me on linkedin.com forward slash in okay. forward slash Winner. Oh. That's actually my handle on LinkedIn. Oh, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm going to go and check it out. Yeah, I didn't see the me. URL. No, yeah, that's me. Okay, so that's me. I'm the winner oh, on LinkedIn. fantastic. Okay. I love it. <laughs> and then lastly, you can find me. I'm Fim Techie on X and other social channels. This is great. Uh, such a pleasure chatting. Thanks for all the great insights and thanks for taking the time out uh, in your busy schedule at Google Next. <laughs> but uh, we'll keep the conversation going. We'll definitely chat soon uh, and build something great build something great together yeah thank you thank you everyone for thank joining you. us today thank you